Thank you very much. I'm very happy to be here to show you our uh, journey toward teaching content. So at the beginning of this presentation, I gave you an overview of the services that we offer both for students and teachers at our university. Then we share with you our results on this uh, Brickfield project and at the end, obviously, the conclusion. So accessibility and inclusion is uh, of paramount importance at our university. For these reasons, we uh, offer a lot of services for students and also for teachers, teacher uh, staff and technical staff. For students, we offer, for example, computer station provided with um, specific aids and softwares. Uh, we offer um, census access tool to um, um, make text in accessible format or other kind of free software such as Epico. Uh, beside this, um, beside these uh, technical aids, we also offer peer-to-peer -peer tutoring. I put these uh, services because in order to uh, make the tutors um, in order to, to, to uh, promote the action of the tutors, uh, we um, offer to the future tutors an uh, online training course available in Moodle, and we design it uh, um, following the uh, recommendation of Universal Design for Learning. For teaching and technical staff, we uh, offer, we have uh, produced guidelines and tutorials on accessibility uh, of learning, learning materials, uh, accessible uh, multimedia content, and also accessible Word document and PDF and so on. Um, Obviously, we have also a lot of research projects on this topic. I would like only to show you this project, Voice Map, which is uh, um, developed with the, with, with the Department of Mathematics. And is, uh, the aim of this project is to uh, develop a software for transcription of video lecturers in um, text and LaTeX for formulas. So, going on the main topic of this speech, the, the, our Brickfield pilot project, uh, the main goal of the project was to uh, evaluate if Brickfield Toolkit could be um, uh, included in our services to improve accessibility. Uh, for these reasons, we planned also a focus group at the end of the project in order to evaluate the effectiveness and usability of these tools. It was a six-month pilot project. We have tested the 20 courses. Uh, we, have the, uh, we have a dedicated space uh, on Moodle platform uh, provided by Brickfield. And we um, uh, introduced these tools to selected teachers uh, during kickoff online meeting. Uh, all the participants have the uh, access to the uh, platform. We support them uh, step by step, and also we have the possibility to follow, to attend four uh, online workshops on accessibility, and also the access to the Brickfield Academy. Um, after uh, the Brickfield Toolkit um, can test the courses, and at the end of the test, uh, um, you, um, you have a accessibility report in which you can find the top errors listed by uh, con as content type, um, the failed activity listed as uh, Moodle activity, and also a ratio between the past and failed activities. But, the sec but in this presentation, I'll give you information only uh, about the top errors. <laughs> as you can see, in this slide, the most common error are text-related errors. Um, in, the following, in the following slide, I'll, um, you can see also what uh, brick, the Brickfield tool, Toolkit give 
uh, give to us. That is uh, uh, the description of the, 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 the errors, um, the impact that the errors for the learners, and also um, the tips to solve the errors. Uh, consider, so the most common uh, errors, um, text errors, uh, are due to an um, improper use of HTLM elements, such as uh, B for bold, instead strong, which is um, meaningful, uh, I for italics, but uh, the most important things that we have found is the uh, overuse of capitalization, but I'll be back on this at the end of the presentation. We also found other kind of text errors, such as the, um, color, um, the um, uh, improper use of colors, uh, and also um, the uh, use of more than 500 words for a page. The first one is a problem for readability, and the second one is a problem for memory and concentration. About the link, uh, we uh, learn that it's better to open the link in the new window. And obviously, it, um, every link needs a text that it could be, it should be descriptive. For layout and table, the problem is the header that in most cases are missing. And um, for the table also, the use of merge cell can um, make problem for screen reader. And for image, the problem is the alternative text that in many cases uh, are, um, is missing uh, or is a simple placeholder like image or the name of the file. So, um, as I told you, we really want to evaluate the usability and effectiveness of these tools. So we planned online meeting, uh, a focus group and online meeting uh, on three uh, discussion topics. The first one is uh, to understand if our teacher uh, found uh, easily to use easy to use the, the, the tools and also if there were benefits or limitations in the use of the toolkit. The second topic, topic is due to the habits uh, of, um, of our teachers. So we ask them if they have changed their vision about accessibility of their content. And the last one is uh, um, if they suggest to extend uh, the training. Oh, sorry. So, um, the test was really positive. Um, the, our participant um, found the uh, toolkit very useful. But what we have found is that they really understand the problem of accessibility. Because, uh, for example, as I told you, for the capitalization, they use capitalization and um, color contrast, a lot of color, to um, create engagement. And they don't understand that this is a problem for other people. Um, they also um, underline the fact that uh, um, make accessible their content is a really hard work. And in most cases, they feel alone in this. And they suggest that in, it's necessary a, um, a more structured support um, to reach the accessibility. And also, um, interesting, they have found uh, that probably the way, the solution, is to create different kind of content in order to address the different needs of all the students. So, in conclusion, we have found that Brickfield could be a powerful toolkit to improve the teaching um, content accessibility. But the really interesting is that 
we have found that we understand, really understand that accessibility is a journey. So to reach the goal, um, we have to work as a community. Uh, we need uh, technical aids, we need a didactic aids, and we have to work together to reach accessibility. Okay. Thank you. I finish. So these are the, the people of my of the staff, and thank you for your attention. <laughs>